You're mentioning the fog on the roads, and we're seeing those reports coming in to the Weather Center as well. Here's a look at our visibility map with the fog, uh, reducing visibility to only a mile and a half near BWI Thurgood Marshall, uh, down to a mile and a quarter near Westminster, and almost difficult to see past a few feet, even in uh, Thurmont. So, this is something that could slow you down on that morning commute. Make sure you have your low beams on. You do not want to use high beams in a fog situation. And all this created because we had an easterly flow come in yesterday afternoon. It brought some cooler conditions during uh, yesterday evening, and that cool air is still sitting right over us. It eventually, will lift back up to the north later today. So, it should turn out to be pretty nice by the afternoon. However, later into the week, we'll still be tracking this uh, very big cold front that's been slowly making its way across the country. This is going to be the focus for all our rain and possibly thunderstorms late Thursday going into Friday. And behind it, it is going to bring our temperatures down for quite some time. Uh, temperatures right now are close to a 58 at the airport, but look how much cooler it is uh, behind that cold front. Boston at 47, New York City 52. It's in the 60s south of the cold front down in Virginia and North Carolina. So we're going to warm up later this afternoon, just not as warm as yesterday. We're expecting highs in the mid to upper 70s around Baltimore, a little bit cooler up north in Parkton at 74, and Elkton a high of 73. A lot of clouds early this morning. It's towards the afternoon that the sun breaks out a bit. A brief shower possible late this evening at around 8 or 9. Most areas will stay dry. That changes though later tomorrow. A few more showers break out into the afternoon. And then really we watch that organized cold front uh, come in late on Thursday. So dinner may be dry on Thursday, but it's after about 8, 9, or 10 o'clock. We watch that line of rain come into the state and it will continue into Friday morning. So the Friday morning commute is probably going to be a mess with that heavy rain and possibly some thunder. We'll see this continue throughout most of Black Eyed Susan Day. So Pimlico, uh, they're going to have to make some adjustments to those outdoor plans. Otherwise, this should clear out later on Friday evening, giving us perfect weather in time for Preakness. So it is a bit of a trade off here. Not the best for all the outdoor activities happening this week, but at least on Saturday, it will be dry and we'll have the sun breaking out at 71. But imagine that uh, the ground is going to still be pretty muddy at Pimlico even on Saturday. Until then, we'll be tracking those showers and thunderstorms 80 tomorrow and 70 by Friday.